During the training sessions, we will use a very simple model of a water plant. It is so easy that you will get an understanding of its components on the fly. This session is meant to introduce the model. Afterwards, we will build the same model step by step from scratch. During these sessions, you will learn almost all steps of working with Freelance 800F. This model consists of a pipe which feeds the tank with water, the tank itself and one outlet pipe for the water consumption. The inlet pipe is equipped with a pump, a pressure transmitter, a valve with a positioner and a flow transmitter. The tank itself is equipped with a level indicator. This feeds a loop controller which controls the set point of the positioner according to the specified water level of the tank. Like the inlet pipe, also the outlet pipe is equipped with a pump, a pressure, a flow transmitter and an outlet flap. All processes of the plant are simulated with user-defined function blocks made with Control Builder F. Let's now operate the plant manually. By double-clicking the white rectangles, you open the corresponding faceplates. Now let's start the pump. When the pump is running, you notify that the pressure is rising. As the valve is still closed, it reaches its maximum value of 16 bar. Let's now open the valve. Click the LIC10 label, which opens the corresponding faceplate. You see that the set point SP and the out value are adjustable in manual mode. Therefore, you may force the out value, which controls the positioner, to 60%. The flow reaches a value of 32 tons per hour and the water level in the tank is rising. To allow water consumption, start the pump and open the outlet flap. The flap is controlled by an individual drive function IDF with two directions. To open the flap, click the button marked with 1. When the final position is reached, click the S button to stop the drive. We now have the situation where the flap is 50% open. The inlet stream is about 30 tons, while the outlet stream is 19 tons per hour. If we let the plant run that way, the tank would be filled completely. To avoid this, we start the control loop. Open the faceplate and switch to automatic. You see that it reduces the out value for the positioner immediately, which will close the valve. As the set point for the level is 4 meters, this level will be reached after a while. You see the values here in the plant display, but even better in the trend display. To see this, open the quick selection window and click trend 2. To get a better overview of this trend, adjust the scaling of the time axis. The trend display shows the set point of the tank level, the actual level, the positioner value, the inlet, the outlet flow and the position of the outlet flap. Let's now increase the water consumption by opening the outlet flap to say 80%. You see the reaction directly in the trend display. Highlight a trend by clicking the button. I am sure you agree, this model is very easy to handle.